pomegranate mix sparkling 100% juice on today's episode. Hey everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we're going to try for the first time ever a pomegranate based drink here on this channel. This is a sparkling pomegranate mix and I'll talk a little bit about what that means in a second. But basically I found this at a late night supermarket. It was like after 11 p.m. so it was still open and I was actually getting some food but I found this in the uh, drink case. Kind of expensive. It was like $2.50 but hey pomegranates what do you expect? It's good for you. And not only is it good for you but it's 100% good for you. So anyway what is up with this drink? Well first of all Let's start talking about the mix. What does that mean? It means it's not really all pomegranates. Anytime you have any kind of fruit juice, fruit fruit punch kind of stuff that you buy in a supermarket, you got to look at all the stuff in the pictures because they'll put the good stuff up at the top and big and then the bottom they'll put some junk down there and it turns out actually that's the majority of what you're getting. You think you're getting the exotic stuff but you're really just getting, you know, some third-rate apples um, from China or something literally like apples from China or wherever in this case I don't even know where they come from but um, yeah so in this case they have to say probably because it's some Japanese law they have to say exactly what's in here so they say it is pomegranate juice but only 35% and the rest is um, it's apples and muscat grapes um, so yeah it's it does have pomegranates but it's only 35% pomegranate Whereas if you look at this, it doesn't say pomegranate and mostly other stuff mix. It doesn't say apples also featuring pomegranates. It actually says pomegranate mix, which means it's the same thing that happens in the U.S. where they, they play up the exotic expensive ones, but they actually fill it up with, with less exotic stuff. So in this case, 35% is actually pretty good. I think in, in the U.S., I saw some, I remember I saw some expose where like, you know, it's 95% apple juice and some other junk thrown on top but you know really it's only uh, the the cheapest thing that they can find basically so anyway in this case not so bad uh, it does say that it has no artificial colors or flavorings um, and it is 100 percent juice and it is lightly carbonated so yeah and i guess the company is called seijo ishi and uh, it says that it's refreshing or something like that on here so here on the ingredients list it's actually kind of interesting first of all in japan they don't normally list the, the the water as like the first ingredient like they do on most other places but I guess they're talking about besides the water what's the ingredients in here and it basically just says I think it's fruit concentrate and it's uh, pomegranates and then apples and then grapes and then after that it says some kind of carbonation um, carbonate carbonic acid or something like that so that's really it there's no added sugar there's no added high fructose corn syrup I guess maybe you don't need to um, but interestingly enough, since I'm on the label, let me talk about the sugar content. Despite there being no added sugar, apparently, uh, the sugar content, or at least the carbs content listed here on the thing is pretty high. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like 13.9 grams per 100 milliliters. A Coke in Japan, which does have obviously added sugar, high fructose corn syrup, etc., is only 11.3. So somehow, despite the fact that um, there's no added sugar, the fruits that are in there actually somehow come out to be sweeter than the uh, than the, the Coke. Um, and I guess that's because it's 100% juice and not you know 90% um, watered down artificial other stuff. So that's actually interesting. So anyway, enough talking, let's give it a try. Cool, there we go. Ooh, pretty cool. Dude, it totally just says like apple juice, like 90% apple juice. I don't care what it says, 65%, it's like 90% tastes like apple juice. Like, at least in the US, fruit punch has a kind of distinctive flavor, which is sort of mixed stuff, enough grape juice, enough apple juice, enough whatever, blueberries to have a distinctive flavor, but this to me tastes like yeah, mostly apple juice. I can definitely taste the apple. I can taste some other stuff, but I can taste the apple. So yeah, it's basically, you know, I've had pomegranate juice. I uh, I don't know if you guys have ever had Palm Wonderful. It's kind of famous in the U.S. Um, check out Greatest Movie Ever Sold if you haven't seen it yet. Um, that stuff is at least tastes 
I wouldn't say it tastes great, but it tastes like super like pomegranates because it I think it's 100% pomegranate juice. Um, and at least it feels like it's healthy because it's got the antioxidants, etc., etc. This stuff basically feels a lot like apple juice. But, I mean, it's not bad. It's just mostly apple juice. I actually like apple juice. As, as you guys know, I like especially carbonated apple sodas. So, not so bad. Okay, I have to give my final verdict on the pomegranate mix sparkling 100% fruit juice from Japan. I'm really at a loss. I'm just going to say, dude, 35% is not cutting it. Stop doping this thing up with apple juice. Okay, that's it for today. See you guys next time here on Obscure Cola. I will be back in Hong Kong probably by the time I do any more videos because I've done so many on this trip. So uh, this one probably you won't see it until well into 2020 because I got such a backlog. No time to edit. Even though I'm even I'm putting out three videos a, a, a freaking week, I'm still behind. So anyway, that's it for today. See you guys next time. Bye. Welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we're going to try Coca-Cola Apple. I'm here with my son from Japan. Just got this at a family mart today. Apparently Coca-Cola...